So Zach, tell me about these confessions that you've been doing at night. Well, it actually really helped me with my fear because re- my, my fear was that I thought people would come into the house and try to kill me. But, but then starting reading these devotionals of faith really got my mind in the right place. Wow. Why do you think you started to fear things like that? I don't, I don't really know, actually. Um, it just came to my mind because people at school, were, it started off at, at something weird that I don't believe now, and then it's coming to, like, now, it's coming to something in my head that people are in the house and trying to kill me. The news is not helping me, by the way. What, the news on TV? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, how have they helped you? Do you find that um, speaking the word of God makes you strong inside? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah? And c- can you quote some of it now? Because you know it off by heart, don't you? Yes, I do. Fear, I refuse to allow you to, con- to control me in the name of Jesus. For it is written, God will never give you a spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love and self-control. God's Holy Spirit is far stronger than anything in the world. I choose to be strong and brave because God will march ahead of me. God, you are always with me and will never leave me. I choose not to be scared or worried because you are right there beside me. Jesus, you tell me, don't be afraid. I belong to you. You will always be there for me. I love you, God. You make me strong. God is bedrock under my feet, the castle which I live in, my rescuing night. Amen. Amen. Do you believe it? Yeah. And do you receive it? Why wouldn't I? It's powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Bye-bye.